All right, uh, let's look at the parallel axiom theorem. So, uh, which states that uh, moment of inertia about uh, any point, it can be expressed as the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus um, the total mass times the distance between the, these two axes squared, All right? So basically what it said is that the uh, uh, moment of inertia about the center of mass is the smallest possible moment of inertia among all the um, uh, axes um, parallel to z-axis. But if you move the axis uh, d distance away from that, then you're going to end up increase, increasing the moment of inertia by total mass times that distance squared. Right? So that's what it means. All right, so let's try to prove this one. All right, so let's prove. All right, so we can find the uh, moment of inertia about the, um, the center of mass is simply, all right, it's going to be a uh, double integral, all right, over R, all right. Then you have, um, uh, x minus x bar, because it's a moment of inertia squared, plus x my oh, no, x y minus y bar squared. Then uh, mass element, right? That will give us the um, the moment of inertia about the um, about the center of mass, right? But the moment of inertia about any point, so I'm going to call this uh, x x one comma y one, is going to be i is going to be uh, double integral over the same region r. So we're talking about this region right here. So this is the r. Right, so this is the region R. Right, then, so since we're talking about the uh, uh, moment of inertia about uh, x1 comma y1, so we do the same thing. Uh, so we have x minus x1 squared plus uh, y minus y1 squared dm. So that's just by definition, distance squared times the, the uh, mass element. All right, so in order to relate this to uh, IM, so moment of inertia about the center of mass, would be I'm going to do the um, following trick. All right, so you have a double integral over the same region. Here, I'm going to add and subtract because I want to get uh, x bar and y bar involved. So we have uh, x minus x bar plus x bar minus x1 squared. So I'm go I am add and subtract or subtract and add x bar, which doesn't really change anything. And we're going to do the same with y bar. So you have uh, y minus y bar plus y bar minus y1 and the squared. All right, so we have that. All right, then uh, I'm going to kind of multiply out, uh, or actually I'm going to group things together. I like this guy, these two guys as a group, and the, these two guys as a group, and uh, these two guys together, and these two guys together. And uh, what you end up getting is this. So you have a double integral. R, right? So we have uh, x minus x bar quantity squared plus 2 times x minus x bar uh, times x bar minus x1 and plus x bar minus x1 squared. All right, plus all right, y minus y bar squared 
plus 2y minus y bar times y bar minus y1 and plus y bar minus y1 squared the m right so it's it's messy right but uh, what we want to do is uh, since the i m you know to get the i m uh, we would like to have uh, here this is the term that we need so because it matches this guy right and uh, y my let's see y minus y bar so this is the guy matches that guy right so i'm going to group those guys together so we're going to have uh, integral over the region r then we have x minus x bar squared plus y minus y bar squared dm so we could create successfully create the um, i m here right then we have to take care of uh, other guys so let's see uh, let's look at uh, uh, these guys uh, constant guys so uh, if you look at uh, this guy right here and also this guy right here I'm gonna put those guys together so it's gonna be plus uh, plus uh, double integral over the same region R then you have x bar minus x1 squared and the y bar minus y1 squared dm and you notice that uh, here this is just the the distance between uh, these two axes squared because this is just a distance formula squared right so this is actually d squared right there and it's a constant so we took care of that and the last one so we have uh, our leftover terms and uh, let's look at those um, here we have to um, I'm gonna actually put it on here so um, let's um, down plus All right so what what are these uh, since uh, this guy right here this is just a constant and that's also a constant I'm gonna pull those out so you have a 2, right, x bar is a constant, minus x1 would be a constant because it is a fixed. But uh, if you look at the integral over r of uh, x minus x bar um, dm, right? And uh, here, look at the, remember the definition of um, uh, finding the coordinates of the center of mass, right? Uh, this is the kind of, uh, total moment, and uh, this is the mass times the center of mass. And uh, this can be rewritten as uh, integral over r or x bar dm. So these two guys are actually the same. Then if you look at this, this is the subtraction between this uh, left-hand side and the right-hand side, which are exactly the same, which means that, that this integral is actually going to be equal to zero right for the same reasoning um, so uh, we have the other term so this guy is two times y bar minus y1 and then you have a double integral and you have a y minus y bar dm and for the same reasoning uh, we know that, that this guy this integral is going to be equal to zero right so therefore we're basically finished we have so first integral uh, is the same thing as the uh, moment of inertia about the center of mass All right next integral so d squared is just a constant pull it out and the integral of uh, dm so this is a, a mass um, a mass element over this region so that's going to give us a total mass which is capital M and the rest of it is going to be cancelled out so we know that, that this is cancelled out 
and this is canceled out so those terms are gone so you can see that uh, we have exactly what we wanted right so this is the um, uh, proof of uh, parallel ac access theorem right uh, that's it I hope that uh, this was clear